So I basically want to just go over the state of the balance and what I would change and then just go over everything this briefly mostly to also just organize my own thoughts and stuff and uh, give some ideas on how to uh, improve the overall balance we were thinking about making like a talent rework mod or some shit but it's too much work and mm, I think it's easier to just um, give my thoughts just throw them out there and then um, instead of making a whole mod maybe just implement these <laughs> that's the easy way all right so balance I think it all starts with temp HP we currently have a mod um, called temp HP rebalance it's still being worked on but that's basically exactly how I would do it or how I want to do it yeah, because I'm giving input as well um, basically the idea is remove um, this one what's it called heal share remove it and give everyone kill stagger and cleave some talks about giving Karelian Assault Spire, Kale, Leaf and Headshot Crit, but I don't really think that's necessary. I think we just should stick to those three because I personally don't see the point in having Crit slash Headshot because I don't think it enables any weapons that the others don't. So I think it's kind of unnecessary and it would just add more uh more work for fat to balance and just it's also a very tricky one to balance so i think it's just better off being removed well the idea is to just make you share a necklace straight and that way you can still troll zealots because that's of course a very important part of the balance but yeah um i also think just just currently sub careers are just either being completely fucked or just being locked out of a bunch of weapons because of their temp HP choices, which I think is just very sub-ideal. You not base your weapon choice on how much temp HP it generates. It should be on the qualities of the weapon in dealing damage, stagger and all that stuff instead of just purely based off temp HP. Um, the temp HP rebalance mod also includes rebalances to kill and stagger. By just kill just needs to be worked um, so that it's less punishing against Skaven and um, it's worse against Chaos. Because right now it's very feast or famine depending on whether you get Skaven or Chaos, which I don't think is uh, good because you're just kind of RNG rolling for the right uh, for the right stuff, which is dumb. And stagger has a busted interaction with slams. And that needs to be toned down and in return um, enemies you kill should uh, return uh, kind of staggered. That way it's uh, not as bad on certain weapons. I think that would be uh, a decent way to rebalance stagger. So yeah. I think that's the, the way to go when it comes to temp HP. That way everybody has, you know at least a good option for every weapon which means more weapons are, can be played because currently uh, a lot of weapons are just being locked out of a lot of careers because of temp HP choices which is not good then the other big one is the stagger talent row uh, with smiter and stuff personally I would just remove them because I don't think they add build variety um there's always gonna be a best in slot for your build and they don't they don't really do something to to like change a playstyle or something no playstyle is dependent on any of them so i think we should just remove them that's the easiest way to go about it but if fetch don't wants to remove them because they want to keep them in the game then something needs to be done about mainstay and bulwark because they currently don't, they they basically don't exist. The mainstay mathematically just doesn't work out at all. Because almost always when you're attacking things, they will not be staggered. And if they're staggered, they're usually already close to being dead. So it's just 
worse overall. I don't know. I think it either need, it needs a complete rework, mainstay. I don't think it can work. And then Bulwark. I don't personally like Bulwark as a talent. But, I mean, it can be made viable by number tweaks. Alright, then. I'm gonna be talking about all the individual talents of all careers. Which is gonna take a while. <laughs> but let's do it. So, the main thing that needs working on is either tuning down the meta choice or just making the other options not completely useless which is something that is a recurring theme uh, and maybe some careers need like more fundamental reworks as well but yeah let's start with Merc um, right so More the merrier is the obvious choice, and limb splitter is very, very niche. And I think even in those niche cases, it doesn't increase overall DPS. So it either needs to increase cleave power even more, or I don't know, it needs to be something else. The thing with cleave power is that increasing your cleave has diminishing returns. Increasing your cleave from one to two is huge. But after that, it starts getting worse and worse and worse. So, the power isn't that good a property, especially when you compare it to just power, which affects damage, cleave, stagger, just everything. So yeah, um, I think Mortimer here is fine. I think it's the other ones that need to be brought up on this row. Albar's Tutelage, Tutelage, Tutelage. Um. I don't like these talents. I don't like them on Zealot. I don't like them on Merc. I don't think it. I don't think it, it offers anything interesting. I would probably remove it, or and change it and replace it with something else. You could try maybe doing every four hits if you do want to keep it. Make limb splitter the melee piercing. Sh uh. Hmm. Yeah, maybe that could work. Be interesting. I do think it's much less valuable on melee though. Because that would just be an overall nerf against hordes. And it would be... Um, would be... Uh, I think you meant melee armor pier. Ducks, right? Yeah. I'd, it would be a slight buff against the leads maybe. But it would be an overall nerf to the talent. So it would need something more than that. Maybe two more targets. I think one more target wouldn't be enough to make it like a viable choice. But yeah. And Halbert should switch, yeah. Maybe try every four hits. If you wanna keep it. And then I don't know if bashes still trigger it. Like yeah, they might. I haven't checked. But uh, that interaction should probably also be removed because it's pretty steamy. Then uh this row. Strike together and right and Reaper is. I think I think it's a fine option. Whether you're being selfish or team player, I think it's a decent balance to have. Maybe you can buff right and Reaper slightly, so it's more of a choice and not just I want to be selfish or I and play suboptimal or I want to be a team player and play optimal. Um, enhanced training is. Just not as good as the other options. I think if you keep it at 20% but and then still make your required 3 targets instead of 4, it might be a good choice. Um, I mean, I don't think that matters too much. Um... Uh, there's a good balance between sand clear and blade barrier. It's an actual choice you have to make and it often depends on what weapon you want to run. Um, black market supplies is not great. Flat ammo buffs are pretty bad. They don't really they don't they don't give too much value, I would say. So I don't know. I think it needs 
Either it needs to be more ammo or it needs to be some way to generate ammo passively. Like maybe getting um like maybe make it like old scavenger and v1 but like worse so every so many kills you get ammo back melee kills that might be something to replace it with um no i wouldn't <laughs> i tried it but it, the difference is so minimal you get i think one more so it's like one more ammo back that's it's not much and you are swimming in ammo pouches usually with a ranger van anyways then walk it off ready for actions and on your feet mate <laughs> i don't i don't like it um on your feet mates i think it's too gimmicky maybe like it goes against the spirit of the ult i would say but if you want to keep it, then maybe give your the allies you revive some sort of invulnerability for a few seconds so that they don't get insta gipped the moment they get up. Because they don't realize they are up. Just as a quality of light things. I personally I would just remove it and replace it with something else. Uh ready for action and morale boost. I think ready for action could use a very slight decrease in cooldown cost. And um that way it would be slightly more on par with Walkadoff. Another thing about Merc I would change is to reduce the um, ult generation he has on getting hit or on hitting. Either one of those needs to go down, I think. Because having 0 0.5 on both is a bit silly. In my personal opinion, it is. Yeah. I think Merc is in pretty good, pretty good spot. He can use most weapons. And uh, he isn't too overpowered. I think. Um, it just suffers from not having too many op options. Um, no, Footnight is worse. Footnight is the same when getting hit, but he is lower when hitting. Yeah, Merc has the max on getting hit and on hitting, which is silly, I think. Which leads to his ult being way more spammable than it probably should be. Um, then Huntsman. I think... And Make and Bleed could use a buff. I don't think Make and Bleed is that great. The other two are like, you have actual choices. This is good for Blunderbuss and Handgun and stuff. And, and one in the eye is good for boss damage and... And getting breakpoints on the ones and stuff. And it's also nice because it boosts your melee game, which is nice. I like those talents on ranged careers, which also give them more of a melee option. But I would replace make and bleed with something I don't know. Something more more interesting. Um These are there's a good trade-off you can make here. I don't think Burst of Enthusiasm is the temp HP it gives is low for um, what it does I do think it's kind of interesting as an option but um, but yeah I don't I think it needs a buff at least or maybe a rework I know they were toying around with the Huntsman um, but I don't think they need to go as far as they did I mean, that's, that is mega niche. <laughs> they were toying around with Huntsman, but I don't. I, I didn't really like what they were doing. I think Huntsman is mostly fine. He needs... Um, I don't really know what he needs. He needs better temp HP options, so he can run a more diverse, diverse set of melee weapons. But I think, like, power-wise, he's fine. <laughs> I don't like long shanks. Um, replace it with... Maybe Skirmisher from V1. The one where you don't uh, have... Like you're, you can shoot and move uh, without losing accuracy. I think that's interesting. 
Um, big hide. Needs... I think it needs a QOL improvement. Currently, just getting all your stacks removed because you have a fireball in the team is feels very bad. And losing it all to a single warp fire or rattling gun is also very bad. What I would do is... Um, Make it so you still lose so stacks, not taking damage, but like there's a cooldown of say like three or four seconds. So when you take a hit, you go down to three stacks, and then three or four seconds, even if you get hit, it doesn't get lower. But then afterwards, it can get lower again. That's somewhat understandable what I mean with that. I think that would be a decent quality of life improvement while still keeping the intent. I think it's an interesting way to do DR. Yeah, I would I would make that change so it's less frustrating to use and less swingy. Uh, Shot crafter is fine, I think. It's good uh, ammo regen while not being completely silly. Mm, I think there is a decent balance between these. I do feel like concealed strikes is a little cheesy, and I would rather not have it in the game. But it's not. Too bad, since Huntsman can do too much with his invis except shoot. So I think it's it's mostly fine. Not it's not like an offender for cheese stuff. It's a bit silly in true solos though, but you aren't uh, they shouldn't really balance around that. Um Fortnite. Fortnite has problems. Alright, where to start? It's alt. It's bad. It needs a lot of quality of life improvements. And they are here. <laughs> so the problem with Food Night Alt is it gets stuck on armor and its hitbox or like stagger box, I guess, is very narrow. Which means that a lot of the time when you use it, some enemies that are even slightly to the side don't get staggered and can hit you. And also, you being vulnerable while charging it up feels very bad in practice. So... Yeah, it needs... It either needs a, a, a wider hitbox. Yeah, I know you can hold block, but... You can get shoved out of it and then you can still get hit. I don't know. I don't like it. I think it should just either out of block for you or something. So you, so you can use it more dynamically. It feels very bad to use. You can get shoved while you're charging up the ult. Because it doesn't it's not instant. It's um it like it let me You see, when he, he throws he throws his arm back, that's charging up, and then you can get yeah during all during that you're very vulnerable. You can get bounced, hooked, beached, pushed. But yeah, I don't like that part. I think it it's I don't know. It's a control. It should control. It should either be invulnerable or something, so the so that doesn't happen. Because it's the most feels bad shit. I also would like it to not get stuck on armor. As much as it does. It makes it like unusable as a reposition tool. Um, I think the balance between Havati and Crowd Clear is fine. I think Staggering Force could use a little more. Something. A little something something. Not just be a stagger bot. Maybe either apply a debuff to things you stagger or something. Something to make it more useful. I think there's a decent trade off between Comrade in Arms and Rock and Flagrant. This one is a bit underwhelming compared to the other two. To use slide buff. Maybe not only damage reduction, but something else. Maybe like. 
could you give power? It's actually something like I think inspiring blow is a little underwhelming. The other two are fine. Yeah, I don't know. I think it could. I, the, the, the thing is, um, the thing with cooldown reduction things is that you have to be worried though, because that's the things that can inspire or balance the most out of control, so you have to be very careful about it. But. Yeah, I think it needs a slight buff. Yeah, that's another thing. He overall doesn't get a lot. I think with baseline improvements to his ult, access to Smiter. The gap closes between him and Merc for sure. And then if he gets like overall improvements to his ult, then he has a decent melee with uh, Bulevostland. I would like to see those improvements made first before reassessing how much worse he is than Merc. Also, um, his ult, or not his ult, just stagger in general. Like different stages of stagger need to look at. So you don't go staggering things out of um, other stagger. So for example, if you ult as Foot Knight, and you throw all the SV on the floor, and then the Slayer jumps, all the SVs get up. That needs to go. Because that's just awful for him. Um, and it makes him much worse. I think if if you do all those things, the gap between him and Merc is much smaller, and I think then you can reassess. Alright, Girl Knight. Girl Knight suffers a lot from having not a lot of viable options kind of being railroaded into it so first of all this one uh, there's only one choice on this um, on this uh, row virtue of the audio is straight up just always better than uh, virtue of heroism the stacks are incredibly easy to keep up like the only time you don't have the stacks is if you're like solo fighting a boss with nothing else around otherwise you will have 100% uptime on it and if you compare it to 25% on only the heavies, it's just bad. I also don't like it as talent conceptually. I don't think it's good to railroad someone into only using certain parts of their kit. Or of, of a weapons kit. It's bad for the gameplay. I don't want to play Grail Knight and the optimal way to play is to only use heavies. That's dumb. <laughs> that should not be how it works. So if this is made like a viable alternative, I don't think that would be interesting. So I would rather it be removed and replaced with something else. This one doesn't really work with him. Because he doesn't have any crit in his kit. The only thing that's a crit that is like it's the ult. But the only time that's useful is against monsters because it one shots everything else already. It either, he either needs more talents that are crit focused to make this a viable alternative or it needs to be replaced with something else because currently it doesn't work because there's no crit in this kit to have any synergy with this. Um, I think this, the balance between these are fine. Need these three. Maybe increase the, the threshold for strength. Bots slightly on Kara and above, but other than that, it's fine. Um, this one, I th think this one is fine. It's good when fighting multiple elites, it's bad against specials. I think that's fine. It doesn't need to be good against everything. Maybe increase it slightly. Uh, Amount of damage taken. <laughs> Thanks, Grave. <laughs> um, Virtue of the Joust is fine as well. It's a good alternative. This one isn't great because time blocks are very inconsistent, especially on ping. And the buff you get is very low for how much you have to like reduce your own DPS to make use of it. 
I I don't think locking things behind time blocks is good for the gameplay loop. Personally, you could make it on just blocking and not time blocks, but I'm not sure if I like it. It's definitely the worst of the three, and I don't like it in design either. So yeah, I'm not sure. I think the balance between the ults are fine. Maybe make it in this one. You get movement speed, but also you get no slowdown and shit. I don't know. Because what I'm imagining would be more useful is if you ult and then you just straight up walk through a bar rattling <laughs> into his face while not being knocked back the whole time. I think that would be a funny and viable alternative. To make him stronger against specials and give up DPS in return. Also, another thing I would do is lower Quill Knight's uh, ult um, cooldown. 40 seconds is too low for uh, deleting two Chaos Warriors. It's a bit silly. I think it needs to be higher the cooldown. When should we expect the char character to be bot? Never. That's why I'm doing this. <laughs> That's why I'm doing this instead. I'm just telling you instead of making a mod. Alright, Ranger Fat. Ranger Fat is a bit problematic. I would increase his ammo drops uh, to like 15%. And that way, and then reduce Grungnies a little bit because the amount of ammo it gives currently is way over the line. I think this one could use a very slight buff. This one could use a slight buff as well. But just increasing the base ammo he drops would already go a long way to making these options more viable compared to Grognis. Um Again, I don't like no dawdling. I would do the same thing as I suggested with Huntsman and replace it with uh, like V1 Skirmisher or something like that. I think that would be more interesting. Although, thinking about it, doesn't have as much use on Ranger Vet now, does it? I don't know, I would replace it with something else. I don't like it. Maybe something that improves this melee game more. Um, I like Firing Fury. I like Exuberance. Yeah, I do. <laughs> I think this is a decent, decent choice. Yeah. yeah. I think that would be the easy fixes to Ranger Vet. Oh wait, no, 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 no. This row needs to work. Our last resort. It's throwing access memes, I guess. But I'm not a fan. Um, I think it should just be a baseline improvement to melee. So, I don't know. Just something to improve his melee game. I like Master of Improvisation. Both feather is boring. <laughs> These two need like reworks. I would probably do one that uh, buffs his uh, his melee game, and then one that buffs both ranged and melee in some interesting way. Ironbreaker. Ironbreaker is a bit dumb. I don't mind under pressure. Interesting. Blood of Grimnir could be stronger than it is. Five percent for three allies. That's like fifteen percent max. Not much. Could use a small buff. Um, this one is also much too low and could use a small buff. Then this. Um Romnil's curse is way too strong. On a career that's already so safe. You don't need that. Silly. Like Vengeance a lot, I think it's cool. Tunnel Fighter is also I don't I don't really like it. He's already so so tanky. I don't think he needs this. I think this is a decent, decent balance. I think this balance is fine. Oh, Wasik is a bit too niche, but I can see the use case. There's a good trade-off between these two, I think. Other than that, I think Ironbreaker is mostly fine. And if you... Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's a 50% uh, increase in radius and a 50% and 50 increase in duration because it's not really 10. Hmm... Maybe I would also lower the DR he gets from his alt. It already does so much by dragging out, uh, getting him all the aggro. And he's already super tanky by himself. He probably doesn't need it. Um, 
on top of all that. But yeah, otherwise he's more fine, I think. Especially if you nerf Sagar Tempestry. That would open up a lot more weapons on him. Slayer. Um, I don't like this role. First. I don't think real rolling people into using certain combos is interesting. But I'm fine with it, I think. If you make hack and slash something actually interesting, then I would be more more willing to let it stay, I guess. This is fine. I would do something extra with high teddy. Maybe also make it so uh, you lose stacks as fast, lower, as something a little extra. Uh, barge needs to be deleted. <laughs> it's, it's so dumb. It doesn't need. It's just, there's no way in which shape or form it can be viable compared to the <laughs> other options. I don't really get the point. But yeah, I think the point is to give him a defensive option that's focused on. I don't. I don't know. <laughs> so useless i think I, I i get the point of giving him a defensive option that isn't damage reduction focused but it's not that <laughs> that's not it it's something else um i think oblivious to pain is fine maybe also includes specials in that i don't like grimnir's focus personally i don't think it's Good to railroad people into having to use certain attacks. I don't think it leads to interesting gameplay. A lot of times you will be forced to use heavy attacks when you don't really want to use heavy attacks just because you need the DR, which I don't like. I would do something else and then just give flat damage reduction. I think there's a decent trade off between Oblivious to Pain and, Grim Oblivious to Pain and Grimmers. Um, no escape is decent, crunch is good. Dawi drop is... I don't know. Um, I don't know what I would have changed about Dawi drop. Maybe... I mean, yeah, maybe Dawi drop also gives uh, a very small... Or like a small buff after you land. Based on distance or something, something like that. So it has more applications except for the one big hit meme. Strength, or the bomb meme, something like that. I would also rework his ult to how it was before because I really don't like how it currently is and how you get stuck around corners a lot and stuff like that. And how it doesn't work at all when you go up slopes. That kind of stuff. Well, not one second, but maybe a smaller buff you maintain after a little bit. Something like that. Something like 150 in the air and then, I don't know, like maybe 50 for one or for a few seconds afterwards. Then Engineer, oh boy. So the problem NG has is that he has less talents than every other career that do something because half his kit and half his talents are just all based on the crank gun. Like his ult is the crank gun. His passive is the crank gun, and he has another row of talents dedicated to the crank gun. That is th three less buffs than every other rear has, which makes him oh no, no four. <laughs> he has two talents here that go uh, that are like crank gun focused, which makes him very dependent on how strong the crank gun is to how strong he is and i don't like how heavily the gameplay of engineer focuses around the crank gun i think the crank gun's current power is fine i think the problem with engineer is is that the rest of, rest of his kit is so incredibly lacking and it's not even because the talents are that weak it's just he doesn't have enough talents so you either have to give him two very 
you either have to give him two very strong talents or you have to <clears throat> i don't know rework these so they do something for him that isn't his crank gun how do you balance engineer without making him steamroll lef low level content or useless in high level content i don't think engineer is any more uh is any better at steamrolling low level content than any of the other range dps creators he doesn't do more than battle is it pyro hackbane void stalker or huntsman so i think it's I wouldn't say he's easier to use. Why would he be easier to use? Press F and shoot? I mean, take your bow out and shoot. <laughs> and use your auto ult. I don't think he's that much easier to use. He's still bad under pressure. And and even if there's not a lot of pressure, if there is some pressure, then you'll feel it much more on energy than on other careers, even on low difficulties. But yeah. um. So, like, for example, I like leading shot. I think it's interesting. Uh, I like rain. I like armor piercing slugs a lot. I think it's very cool. Scavenge shot is. Oh, here's another thing. He has this one, this one, and let's say this one. Like all for a melee build, but they're all like bad. Why? <laughs> Why give him a melee build? Like in your talent choices, but then make it bad. What's the point? <laughs> If the point is that he isn't supposed to play in melee because he's a ranged career, don't give him a melee build. A melee talent build. It doesn't make any sense. So yeah, I would like these to be all be buffed. They're actually impactful. This one is just straight up worse than Huntsman. Uh, yeah, it's 25% DR and it's worse than every other... Uh, than every other... 30% uh, DR talent. So it's less DR and it's less viable. I don't like range curse getting melee fox talent instead anyway. Um I don't mind it. Allows them to play more like hybrids. So I don't think it's it's too bad. But yeah, ablative armor needs a buff, so it's just not that bad and frustrating to use. Um Bombardier. I think it's interesting, but it's too weak. So it needs to do something extra. Um when using bombs either give him more bombs give him a chance to gain bombs in melee give him a chance to gain bombs in ranged or with gills or by killing certain things just something more something extra i would like it to be something more active and not like rng focus i don't think that's very interesting so like if you kill elites you get a bomb or something like that i think that would be more interesting than having a dupe chance. Uh, piston power is just weak. <laughs> it's a nice meme, but it doesn't do much. But yeah, it, it, it needs to be, I don't know, it needs to be, do more or something. But the real thing he needs is like another row of talents because he's lacking them. He doesn't have a passive, basically, and he doesn't, yeah. So. Either make these all, like make row 10 and 25 busted OP. <laughs> uh, make it a busted OP row of talents. Or give him an actual passive. Um, Superior Gaskets just needs a buff because it's too weak. Experimental Steam Capacitor is fine. Yeah, that's fine. Um, this one needs to last longer, I think. And maybe give more. I would also increase the duration of his stacks. So make it last. I don't know what's a good time, like 20 seconds or 24 or. Something. And then um, make it when you lose stacks, you don't lose them all. It's very, like very. You have to crank every so often. You just have to because otherwise you lose them all. So it's optimal to just mix in one crank every so often. I would like it to... I would like it to not be like that. Oh, so like you have four stacks and then you lose one. You go down to three and then you can crank it back up again. Instead of losing it all. I think it's a bit silly. That means he's so crank focused, which I don't think it's very interesting gameplay to just be cranking your... Your... Uh, 
gun. I wanna be shooting. I wanna be fighting. I wanna be doing something, not just playing with my gun. <laughs> yeah. Alright, Waystalker. Uh, Waystalker's big issue is that all her ammo regen is in her ult. Which is... It's not good. She needs her ammo to be not entirely dependent on her ult. It makes it frustrating when the ult doesn't do what you want. On occasion, you mark stuff and it just fucks off somewhere else. And... Uh, yeah. It also would allow like more viable piercing shot builds because people seem to like that one. Loaded bow, maybe also. Like, make it an option, but this one is just too strong. Yeah, I would put more ammo regen in her kit, either either over here or over here, or like somewhere. So, it doesn't feel so all dependent. Uh, bloodshot is fine. Yeah, I think it's fine. Uh, Serrated shot is fine. I think this one is fine actually as well. Maybe it could be a little longer. Let's talk. <laughs> right, let's talk. But yeah, I think it needs to be a little longer. I think it's a fine buff. And it's, it's interesting in piercing shot builds. Um, I think the balance between D fine. I think on this row, this is the best row to put something. Yeah, something like that. 10 or 15 seconds. I think on row 25. It should be something ammo related. So she has other ways to regain ammo apart from the ult. And you then can reduce this one to like 10% or 15% or something. Or like... Like 10, 20, 15 or 20% and then make it sound only triggers once. I think, yeah. I think the important thing with uh, this one is that it needs to only be able to trigger once. Um, and not uh, all the time. So no, you kill three specials, you have all your ammo back. Just if you kill one special, if you kill three specials, you'll always get the same amount. Yeah, you could also bring the alt passive ammo regeneration back. But I don't. Eh, maybe. Maybe. I don't know. I would also just add something here. These three talents are not very interesting. Ricochet is such a meme. So I would do like three different ways or three different. Or something. Something that is ammo focused here. Maybe something ammo focused, maybe something melee focused. And something. I don't know. And a different ammo focus or something. I think that's what Waystalker needs. I think Waystalker is fine power level wise, but she feels like a bit of an annoyance to play because you're fighting your ult a lot of the time. Or you have ammo to use. Then Handmaiden. Handmaiden probably needs like some sort of rework. Or like a more extreme. Or something. Because currently her the roles she's supposed to fill and her ult are like they, they, they don't work together. Which makes her really annoying to play. Because you want to dash but you have to stay with your team. And you should stay with your team. But you want to dash. But you can't because you have to stay with your team. But then you do want to dash. So you do be dashing. And then you're kind of fucking your team. And I don't think that's good. <laughs> oh yeah. I don't know what to do with her. <laughs> Give Ant made a foot metal. <laughs> that would look so silly. <laughs> but yeah. I think um, she either needs a complete playstyle rework. Or her dash needs to be, like her ult needs to be replaced with something more useful slash team oriented. Passives are fine. Well, the thing in Total War is that handmaidens there are more ranged focused than they are in Verm. So you could give her a ranged ult, but I don't think that makes sense. Waystalker. I don't know. Handmaiden and, and in Total War play completely different to Handmaidens in Vermintide. So, and I don't know enough about lore. But I don't think, I just don't think the role Handmaiden is supposed to fill works with the kind of dash she had. If she had a dash like Salad, it would be more, it would be better. But yeah, and I think dashing in place to get 
something is also done. I'd, maybe if you rework these talents to not require dashing through enemies to activate their buffs or do something, it would be less of a problem. Because these are the main offenders in you wanting to dash away from your team. Alright, onto the other talents. This one has way too high a requirement for way too low a reward. This one is just straight up boring. <laughs> And this one is straight up busted and boring. I don't want the optimal way to play Hand Maiden to do push stack light on every fucking weapon. <laughs> I don't want that be I don't want that to be the way to um to, to be how you supposed to play her. I don't wanna be I don't want push attack into light, push attack into light, push into heavy heavy or something like that to be the best way to play hand main. I think it's boring, it limits how you use her weapons because you get railroaded into only using certain combos that involve pushes. I don't think it's good. I think you could sell deep it like block and push but make it so it's the next well whoever knows how many strikes but more than two like five or maybe six or something like that. And then make it lower in the busted case. 30% attack speed and 10% power is absolutely nuts. That's ridiculous. That's such a huge boost. Reinforce is such a... Yeah, make it more similar to crowd clear. Like it does... <laughs> it gives you... It gives double the attack speed of crowd clear and 10% power on top of it. It's silly. And then it's also real fucking annoying to play. So yeah. I don't like it. Not a fan at all. Oak stance Oak needs to be something interesting. Could still be crit focused. But needs to be something more than 5% crit. Focus spirit needs... I don't know what it needs. Maybe lower the threshold. Less time. Like 5 seconds or something. And might see some more play maybe. And then make the buff give something extra. Um I think this one is fine. It's not very interesting, but it's decent, eh? Um Dance of Blades. I think it's fine. Maybe very small. Maybe a very small buff. Uh, Raid Walk needs to go. It's dumb. <laughs> Just needs to go. I think Handmaiden is safe enough. It doesn't need to get any more silly. You don't need to be invincible just because you know how to press block and dodge. It is dumb. No thank you. <laughs> Remove it from the game. Um, Heart, heart of the Oak. I think it's... It's not very interesting. It's fine. We buff it up a little bit. Like, I don't know. It's like her, her generic DR talent, I suppose. In a slightly different way. Birch stance. I mean, 90% block construction is a bit of a meme. But I think it's fine. Makes her a good front line. Grave of Plenty. I would do the same thing I suggested for Black Market Supplies. Make it like Scavenger V1. Or similar to that. But like uh, a reasonable threshold. I don't know what that would be in V2. But it would definitely be higher. Every 50 or 40 midi kills you get an ammo. An ammo? ammo? Some ammo. I don't like Invish on such a short cooldown. I don't think it's healthy. I would rather it not be this. And something else. But this whole thing needs to rework. Because these two mean you want to be dashing through things while you actually want to be staying with your team and these just kind of work against each other and i don't like it i don't think it's an interesting trade-off power wise but design wise like for the game for the the, the gameplay you wanna like urge i don't think it's good shade everyone's favorite personally i would rework shade to move away from an Backstab slash Invis focused playstyle to a more hybrid ranged melee playstyle. Like high damage ranged slash melee playstyle. I think that would be more thematic and interesting to play. 
than what we currently have. Also make Folly Crossbow good. <laughs> Please. <laughs> I think these are interesting. Problem is, of course, now that she doesn't really have a way to sustain Hagbane, so... Work, but like... These are... I like the trade-off between Cruelty and Huntress. Yeah, Cruelty is like just good power. I think it's fine-ish. Like this is headshot focused and this is just an overall power boost. To your ult and... You know, just in general. I don't think it's too bad. I don't know. I don't like the, I don't like backstabs as a playstyle. It's not going to be balanced. It's either going to be OP as fuck or it's going to be weak as fuck. I think Vanish, Vanish is just dumb. Cooldown on, on such a trigger is just leads to weird gameplay. I don't think there's any way for it to be healthy. And it makes cheesing easier and I don't think that's something that Vermintide needs. Yeah, this one is just weak as fuck. Bloodfletcher is alright. I don't know, a buffed up version of this and Bloodfletcher and I don't know what else you would put here. Something maybe not backstab focused for once. Yeah. Really, she needs a total rework. Vanish is also jank, especially on ping, yeah. Yeah, I don't like it. Um, what can I say? Um, Blood Drinker. Fine, I guess. It's 20% DR. Worse than every other DR talent. Or almost every other DR talent. Still DR talent. Green Hill Assassin is fine. Makes you zoom around a bit. I don't like Great Runner. I think it's boring. <sighs> then Clock of Mists. Why? How? What were you doing? How did this happen? <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> Remove the cooldown reduction. Just remove it completely. It would still be super strong. And don't even think about bringing it back on another. Like as an alternative. It's awful. It's... The only thing it's it's gonna be good for is the cheesing. And now it's also just tied to the most... Busted... Damage shit as well. Yeah, no bueno. Shadow Step is a meme. Cloak of Pain is alright. I, I don't know how... I don't know how it happened. I don't... They rolled back Huntsman changes, but they didn't roll this back. I'm just... Why? I guess nobody didn't... There weren't enough memes about it. But yeah, the, that's what I'm definitely needs. Like, for starters, remove all the cooldown. Reduction, remove Vanish. Do something with this. That's where I would start. Like, that is, those are the quick fixes that would make shade, but if I... If I could, I would completely rework Shade to be something else and not backstab focused because I don't think backstab focused gameplay works in Vermintide. It's either gonna be jank, busted, or weak as fuck. And there's no in between, I feel. You're either going to be able to use backstab on demand or you're never gonna be able to use backstab because of the way enemy aggro works. I think the answer is you don't make her too similar to Witcher Captain by not making her a melee focused range, a, a melee focused crit career, but a hybrid focused crit career. All right, then Witcher the Captain. Um, Flans needs a nerf. It probably needs to do less single target damage. So the way it currently works is. You hit something once, you get, I think, two bleed stacks. You hit something twice, you get five bleed stacks. And you hit something three times, and you get like ten bleed stacks. It needs to not stack that much. You hit something once, that is two bleed stacks. You hit something twice, that is six. That is too many. <laughs> it needs to not stack that much. Make it like, let's say three stacks. And if something is bleeding already, you can't bleed it more. That way it's an actual crowd clear focused option instead of maybe like three or four stacks, something, something in that direction. And like, that's the max. And if something is bleeding, you can't bleed it again. 
until the bleed is done. That way it's it's like uh, that now is probably fine if Flans gets a nerf because then it would be better single target damage, especially if you have good headshots. Repost needs I don't know I don't like once again I don't like talents that are block focused like that rely on you blocking things to to um to do more damage. I don't like it. I don't know what to do with it though. Yeah, I don't know what to do with repost. I I don't like the block compartment at all. Yeah, that now is fine. It's just competing with Flans that's the problem. Like that now used to be meta and it was fine. But then Flans just is way too strong. So goodbye. I don't like uh but anyways, I don't like repost. I don't think it's I don't think it's I don't know, I don't like it. I would probably remove it and replace it with something else. Dampler's knowledge needs a buff. The other two are fine. Yeah, they're fine. Um yeah, Dampler's knowledge needs a buff. Currently it doesn't really allow you to hit any special breakpoints or anything like that. Make it a little higher and maybe. I don't think it's a very interesting alternative though, but mm, I can kind of see it being a thing. Um, sharp life castaway are fine, interesting trade-off on a lot of weapons. Yeah, probably buff it to 10, that's the easy way to go about it. Um, then always prepared, I would also just give the same treatment as the others. Make it um, a scavenger alternative, like in V1. Like 50 kills, 40 kills, something like that, and then give something back. That's how I would go about it. Then... Fervency. Personally, I don't really like Fervency. I don't think it's necessarily that strong, unofficial. But I don't like the, the concept of giving someone that much burst. I think it feels dumb. Personally, I would remove it and replace it with something else because I don't like that much burst in my video game. <laughs> the other reason for this isn't that OP is because crit headshots almost always already kill the thing. So there isn't much left. But I don't like the amount of burst and it feels a bit weird. Like decking into an SV patrol and they all die. I don't. Not a big fan. An ending hunt is fine. I shall judge you all is. It's, it's somewhat interesting because it applies your tag to enemies that normally can't be tagged, like hordes. So it would be an interesting increase in horde DPS as opposed to beat DPS. But 40% CDR is always going to be straight up better. So, I don't know. I don't know. I would remove slash rework fervency and lower flans. Do something interesting with repost, small buff to Templar's knowledge. Re replace uh, always pre prepared with like V1 uh, scavenger, and I think it would be Gucci. Bounty hunter. Him getting actual temp HP would be huge for him. Um, which would already improve him like a ton. Then these open bounds is it's better than the hunt than the huntsman, but. Still, eh, kind of weak. Maybe make it higher or something, something else, something extra. Heal crescendo can't be on firing his last shot. That's too big a requirement for the buff it gives. Yeah, it's kind of interesting, but it's not that strong because bounty hunter has surprisingly little crit in his melee gameplay. Um. I would either still crescendo, you could do like upon firing his last like clip. So if you if you do like uh, if you do if you fire a crossbow shot, then you get a buff. Or if you fire like repeat or something, like if you unload your clip, you get something, and then you get could get like a small buff that lasts shorter duration. That way you get. Rewarded for like shooting, reloading, going back into media, shooting, reloading, going back into media a bit more, and it's not as, and it's not as as like 
artist or feminist is now. Like unloading your entire clip is such a huge demand and it doesn't work well in a gameplay, um, in practical gameplay, even if you combine it with this one. I would make the buff smaller and then, yeah. Make the buff smaller and then make it much easier to trigger and you could have some interesting builds coming with that. Weight of Fire is boring, but decent. Best combat is fine, gives him good break points. It's a very good buff. Pearl Fortune is decent, Price Body is decent. Well, I think these are fairly well balanced between each other. They uh, work on a bunch of different builds. Rail the Mob, I don't like it. It's such a speedrun, man. Speedrun to hunt. I don't think that's really where a bounty hunter is supposed to shoot or anything like that. I don't like it. Salvaged Ammunition, um, it's decent, I think. It's pretty good synergy with like crossbow and volley crossbow. Um, I think it's alright. Drop ball done. I think it's fine. It's pretty strong. Then his ult. I would um indiscriminate dust. I would lower the the um, cooldown of the thing. So you basically have a shotgun. Um at like I don't know, what's good? Like 30 seconds or something? Or maybe more? 25 seconds or something? And then you would have basically a shotgun on a very low cooldown, like a third range weapon. I think that would be something interesting. And that way, like, it's a shotgun, it has to be spammable. Otherwise, it, it's like... Making a shotgun focused on very big bursts of damage doesn't work. Those shotguns work best when you can spam them. So if you make the ult more spammable, I think it would be a viable. Just reward is fine, I think. Yeah. Um, double shot up. Personally, I would make it so it only can use the cooldown once. Because I don't think it's healthy for the game that Bounty Hunter can delete bosses in 5 seconds. Just by lining up a few headshots. I know people like it, but I don't. I don't think it's healthy to have like this. Just a, a theme in general that bosses die too fast because certain careers just absolutely shit on them. But then a lot of careers, if you don't have like something that absolutely shits on bosses, they take a long while. But yeah, I, I personally I would cap double shot at 40 percent or maybe like at 60 if you do it both no i didn't i didn't say that i thought i, I thought salvage ammunition was fine i don't think it should do that much i don't think you killing one slave rat is worth an entire void crossbow reload i think that's a bit silly sure but i think that's more of a weapon balance issue than than a than that talents issue i think it's more of an issue of body crossbow being too weak um, enemy killed percentage wise, I think that would be a mess to balance, and there's no way to um, convey that in a tooltip. No, but I mean, what it costs wise just doesn't do a job it's supposed to do currently. Bounty Hunter would be much improved by uh, buff to. I think the issue is his weapons, uh, though, and I think. We should advocate for buffing the weapons. I think that would be too much, JC. That would make give him infinite ammo on everything. Because you would always have a crit in your last clip, right? So you could just keep spamming forever. But I think um, Bounty Hunter would be much improved by just buffing his ranged weapons to actually be useful. I think... Um, yeah, personally, I would see, I would, I would, I would buff range weapons and then see where we stand and not buff bounty under and the range weapons. And then we will probably create a monster at some point <laughs> because that's how it usually goes. <laughs> All right. Uh, Zealot. Zealot, I think needs a rework. So he's less focused on being low and more on um, hit trading 
and then basis buffs around damage taken. I mean, the whole community was wrong. <laughs> and I hope they see now that nobody is even using Vody anymore after the nerf that maybe they were overreacting. Personally, I would see my <laughs> special Volley <laughs> be included in the game. I think that was a fun, fun version of Volley. <laughs> but yes, that. Um, how would we work him? So he's not focused on just being low, and so he's like anti synergy with a bunch of different uh, careers or balance or stuff, and that he'd be more focused on uh, hit trading. And also make his stuff not apply to his ranged. It's so weird. He, I think he's supposed to be like the melee blender, but for some reason he has. Um, for some reason he has uh, also very good range back points. Personally, a complete rework. But if we're talking about small changes, on batting purposes, purposes useless. Um, Castigate is probably like a bit too strong for. I don't know. It's just 20% straight up. The, the, the issue with Zealot is gets all his buffs always. Usually. And there's not a lot of interesting gameplay going on beyond taking overhead at the start. You're not the, the only thing that makes you want to hit trade is because you can, because you generate so much temp. Uh, all right, Incan. One more of those, and you'll get a timeout. <laughs> um, I don't know if Zelat is too strong. I think he might be, but I'm not sure. He is like he has super tanky. He has amazing DPS and melee, and he has amazing range break points, which should make him broken. But he's such a—he's <laughs> so annoying to play. <laughs> then I'm not sure. But he's also very selfish and he doesn't give any team buff. So that makes him. Yeah. Something like that. Yeah, timeout. I don't know. I would do a complete rework. But it's... I mean, he's not as strong as Witch Hunter Captain if you play him optimally, but he's much easier to. But he's much easier to play than Witch Hunter Captain. He's much more forgiving. I think another problem or part of it is that Witch Hunter Captain scales much better into the higher content we play which makes Zealot look worse in comparison but if you play them both on base Kata then Zealot is probably probably stronger even than Witch Hunter Captain maybe not sure I do well yeah but Witch Hunter Captain some part of his kits need to be nerfed as well so I think if that happens then I think Zealot might start looking more starts looking more 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 silly so i do think he needs some small nerves but mostly he just needs a rework because i don't think his current design works um but if we're going over the talents real quick yeah but i would personally nerf both of those yeah this that's why i would i would go for a total rework but yeah but if we go over these quickly, I don't like Smite, I don't like the Volley Crossbow build, I don't think it fits Zealot at all. It's just weird. It's also not that great. Unbanning Purpose is a meme, it's useless, it does nothing. I think there's an interesting balance between Armored of Fate and Holy Fortitude. Crusade is a meme. But people like to go fast. So, I don't know, maybe keep it because of that reason. Um, I think there's an interesting balance between these. Well, not this one though, this one is just bad. Maybe if it additively stacks with this one, maybe you have something, but I don't think this stand is very interesting. Maybe you can do something else with it. Yeah. Feel nothing is pretty meme but maybe it has a place. I don't know. Legend Shield is great. Blades Furry is, Flurry is pretty close to being, to being a viable alternative to Zeal, I think. It would be more burst focused and less like overall DPS, but I think it would, could work as an alternative. Just needs to be probably a little more. Yeah, but I would like his cock and ball torture to be more rewarded by him, by him getting stacks for hit trading, for example, and then adjust numbers going from there. Have to test, of course, but okay. 
You take, I don't know, 10 damage, you get a stack, and then for each stack you get healing, damage reduction, attack speeds. Like, go in that direction. Probably. Um, I think that's enough about that. Alright, so, Battle Wizard. So, the changes to stagger damp HP and their interaction with slams. If that's nerfed, that would already be a big hit to Battle Wizard. Um, because her damp HP was much worse because of it. It would also allow her to more melee weapons, which would be very cool. So, this row is... Lingering Flames is a meme. <laughs> Let's get that out of the way. I don't like Famished. I... Well... I kind of like Famished, but I don't like Famished if her ult and Fire Sword and Dagger exist. Because those are all 100% their damage comes from dots already. So it's just a straight up enormous buff to her, yeah. Famished as range only would be... I think that, that could work, yeah. I, mean, I don't hate Famished uh, when it exists on things like Fireball and Beam and... Well, I kind of hate it a little bit. On Um, but yeah, I don't, yeah, I don't think you can ban balanced famished or make famished, famished balanced with them um, when you have things like fire sword and her ult. It's either gonna be way over the line or not. Um, I don't think beam staff shotgun with famished would still be OP. I don't think the damage difference is that big. I think the main selling point of famished would be that dot damage is generally better against armored. And Famish would then be a way to make her to make her more ar armored focused with her Horde Clear staffs. So, and yeah, that's a good change for lingering as well. Yeah, like like at least try that, and then we'll see how how it is because now it's currently just a meme. So with Famish, I would maybe like maybe turn it up even more a little bit. Like, no, actually, I don't know if that's a good idea, but. Mm, I'm not sure. I, th I do think you should start with not making it apply to melee and her ult. Make it only apply to her range staffs. Then maybe look into beam. Like, on its own. Because it's kind of a busted interaction. But I don't I don't hate Famished entirely. I just hate the current Im implementation. Is what I'll say. I think Volcanic Force is great. Maybe... Maybe it's too strong. But I like the concept. You could maybe nerf it like slightly to like 40% or something like that. But I really like the the idea of rewarding fully charging your staff. Because a lot of times on a lot of staffs don't feel like it gets rewarded enough to actually charge up stuff. For example, on Fireball, the the main the best way to usually play it um is to just spam. Of well, needs cleave nerf. Yeah, that's all another way to go about it. Actually, just nerf bolts cleave a bit. Volcanic is actually more than fine on the the other weapons apart from um, apart from bolt. Yeah, but I do like. I, I, actually, it might even be weak on the other staffs. I'm not sure, but I like the concept. So I think you can work with it. I mean, it can still be higher, but it doesn't need to be as high. It does also like it doesn't consume ammo and all the other stuff, so it has that over sniper, other snipers. Bolt would need a big rework if it's gonna be more headshot focused. It would need a zoom option at least, and probably some other stuff as well, because it's pretty clunky to use right now. But yeah, I like rechannel. I like unusually calm standard that needs to be changed to something. I don't know what. Maybe you can increase the effect by 200% and then make it so it's a good option if you want to go from high heat all the way to low. I don't know. Is that a thing? Is that worth it? Maybe. Then, shoot shield. It's 30% DR up at all times. It's pretty fucking strong. Bold Battle Wizard would be that strong if we... With the nerf to stagger temp HP and... Like, it would make her much more squishy. Yeah, basically, bolt at auto aim. I don't know. Bolt would need like a like a a, a rework if you want to make it more headshot focused because it's too clunky currently. 
yeah no other no other sniper weapon can do that so yeah yeah maybe make a new staff for it because the currently the, the implementation of bolt is too clunky for it to be a good headshot focused weapon but yeah um fires from ash i don't like it things that touch cooldown can be so scary uh, to balance i'll probably replace it with something else immersive i like it it's just outclassed by the dr so maybe buff it a bit um because i think it's an interesting option more dps focused less safe um then kaboom has been nerfed into the ground and i think it can be brought up a bit more especially if famish doesn't affect the ult anymore I think you can buff Kaboom quite a bit actually if you do that. If you make Famish no longer apply it. I mean I would personally rework it so Famish doesn't affect the ult at all. Neither Burnout or uh, or on um, Kaboom. Yeah. Well the thing is we would nerf uh, staggered amp HP. So I don't want to over nerf. So... I wonder how Battle Wizard plays if her temp HP isn't so nuts as it currently is. Like, I do wonder uh, what the difference is. But I'm open to DR nerfs as well. On top of the temp HP generation nerfs. Uh, Volant's Quickening. Uh, Volant's Quickening, I don't, I don't like it. It's not very interesting. Hmm... I mean, you could rework shield shoot. Sh oh my god, word. shoot shield so it doesn't affect venting. I don't know if that's workable though. That might not be possible with how it's coded though. Maybe just give shoot shield a small number nerf, or I don't know. I would have to play more with the temp HP rebalance. See how it feels and see how the temp HP generation is. All right, pyro. I do think you have to watch out with nerfing too many things at once because um. Things can add up. And some careers that were good turn out bad. Pyro is a prime example of that. That segue. <laughs> she got a bunch of small things changed. And Pyro was hit kind of hard because of it. The change to temp HP decay. The change to crit flinching. Change to the, how crits are. Like the randomness of crits. Overall tiny things that hurt her. And so overall she's become slightly worse over time. Um, so let's talk pyro. Currently, I am not sure what her intended role is supposed to be. I know the somewhere it says that pyromancer is like single target focus or something, but I don't really see it <laughs> in her tree, in the talent tree and stuff. But yeah, um. Yeah, she. I know she's not, but I, somewhere it's just she's uh, described as such. Um, I think on on Fat Shark's side when they announced the careers. Anyways, martial study is boring. Spirit casting is um probably doesn't give enough for the requirement. I think. Especially with the um, damage with decay. So you can only really make use of this thing like a melee build. Uh, Ride right, the Firewind could use a small buff, I think. I think it still doesn't affect... Um, still doesn't affect... Um, what's it called? Cleave and stuff. Um, yeah, she is, she is just overall DPS, I suppose, mostly from crits. Alright, um, this row is mostly fine, I think. This one could use a small buff. Um, the rest is fine. Maybe this one could also use small buff. Uh, this one is great. I quite like this set. So I could use maybe could use a small buff. Personally, I would put the no longer slot from being overcharged in Pyro baseline. Um, oh wait, yeah, it's range power A. Eh? Yeah, that's weak. 
it needs to be higher, yeah. Um, but yeah, no longer slowed from being overcharged. Maybe it should just be baseline, uh, as in because she is in control, right? She seems to be one that's most in control. So maybe. I don't know. But uh, this one is the best by far, and it's no real competition. Um, yeah. This one is weak. This one is good. This one is a meme, but, but it's something pretty good. If it works. Um, yeah. I don't really know what to do with Pyro. I don't really know what direction to take her in. But you could try making this baseline. Then she has ER as an option if you want to play more frontline. Um, then you could put something interesting here. And something more range focused here. And then you would have something. Something interesting here. This one and this one. Oh. I don't believe in it, JC. <laughs> Exhaust. Uh, I think that could work. Yeah, actually, that's an interesting idea. After you use your ult, you get a bit of free ranged. But it would it would kind of step on the toes of this one. Since you usually use your ult to kill something and then that's the way. But I guess it could be something in builds that don't. Use this one. I don't know. They kind of tap on each other's toes. Get out of crits. <laughs> uh, yeah, actually, make make it make burning burning head an AOE. Because uh, that's to be. Yeah, make it the actual <laughs> size like Total War <laughs> to just wipe out entire hordes. Yeah, I would think it would be interesting if it was a rework not to have like a wide hitbox and it just kills a bunch. Alright, on to Unchained. Um, This... This is garbage. <laughs> I'm not sure... They... Have some... Weird Unchained build in mind. When designing like with this and this you have something weird in mind that doesn't quite work in practice and with how unchained play but yeah chain reaction um make it guaranteed make it actually deal the deal damage see how we go from there i have no clue how to how how strong that would be i would just yeah yeah i think that script tenet might be overtuned on pyro especially if it also applies to range um um, I don't know how to feel about this weapon. I think it's a, uh, about its talent. It's a bit weird one. I don't understand why they're trying to force this dot-based gameplay into Unchained. She only... It would like only work with Fire Sword. And I don't get it. I don't get why this is the direction they're trying to take Unchained into. Just be the melee-focused um, wizard. I don't know what, what, this is all, what all this is about. Yeah, it's just weird. It doesn't mesh with, with, with. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't really get it. I don't see the thematic point or whatever. Same with enfeebling flame. It's such a weird talent on Unchained. I don't really feel like that's what Unchained is about. Um. Let's see. Natural talent is boring. Abandon is. Oh, I wouldn't give Unchained more, more DR. I don't think that's what Unchained needs. Um, but yeah, Abandon, I think it's fine. Especially now that they don't make DR apply to it. Great. You pay quite a big price. If you remove... I think Bomb Bomb needs to be removed. I don't think it makes sense to be on uh, Unchained. I think Abandon is mostly a problem because Bomb Bomb is a problem. Again, it's such a weird, like... What kind of thematics were you thinking about when you made this combination? Oh yeah, I would personally remove Bomb Bomb. I don't know, just something different than all these weird burning talents. Balance fine. Um, buff Wildfire. So it does more damage. Increase this so it. Uh, gives you more power and then do something else here 
maybe bring back cooldown reduction. I think it's fine as one. And then I like this spade. I like conduit. Kind of. Conduit is also a weird one on it. But I don't mind it. Um, but yeah, uh, wildfire increase the damage, make the visual not that obnoxious. Um, <clears throat> uh, number boost for fuel. And then something else here, probably cooldown reduction. Yeah, I don't know, just do something else than rather all this burning stuff. I don't think it fits Unchained. But if you want to keep it, this needs number tweaks. Keeping Fame is probably fine. I don't think it works on a chain because she would be locked into a very limited pool of weapons if you go that way. And if giving her Smiter would also be a big boost uh, if we rebalance the these talents somewhat. Yeah. I think that's all I have to say about the careers. <laughs>